Yeah, Kenya is a horror. It is a war on terror. War on terror. War on terror. I've just seen some uh, very com comic evidence. Huh? Very comic evidence that the DCI has given us. Because Airtel has been loved by Kenyans the, against the Safaricom agency of the government that has been giving out details of young Kenyans and being up, they have been abducted using Safaricom framework. I see they have paraded Airtel lines there. Very funny, guys. Uh, and uh, they have put there, I don't know, cello tapes and an IBC laptop and a panga one panga what is this so this panga chopped off all those women right this is very comic guys i can see a new rope and some lab uh, uh, gloves with the misokoto yabangi this misokoto they are very new with rizla not even gazetti so this guy had uh, there was rizla's being sold where he was staying you see Naizo misokoto zinuundwa vizuri sana this is a funny video, a funny clip that even if you watch, you just laugh. This butcher, the butcher as government, uh, has killed a lot of people in Bidurai, in Longai, and in town, and in other towns across the country. And now they are very afraid until they are cooking very useless stories here. I pledge my Kenyans do not buy this useless uh, story that they have tried to make here online, guys. This is a funny, uh, funny thing, a funny clip, guys. How, how comes we can buy this kind of narrative that is not even adding up? Yeah. So this guy has been killing people since 2022. He dumped there. We are finding fresh bodies. It's like those bodies were on Mount Everest, whereby they did not repose after several years. You understand? And so it is very funny and unfortunate for we have this kind of government in place. We do not understand how we got here as a people with these useless people who doesn't care about life, they don't care about the future of the country, they do not care about the education, they do not care about the health sector. These people are just for themselves. They are so vengeful. They do not want to be told anything it is either their way or the highway it's like their can the country is a, a private property that belongs to them so all i can tell my people is that with what we've seen whatever comedy the, the dci has paraded for us here a panga airtel sim cards it's like they want to paint airtel as a bad company uh, the misokoto town yabangi this is very funny clip, guys. A very funny clip that you've never seen before. And several ideas that they collected from the roadside. So they are trying to think they can fool us. Huh? It is very, very unfortunate that uh, we have a theatrics, a, com a government that uh, it is fond of lying. You know, it lies left, right, center, east, west, south, north. These guys are liars. You see now Ruto is saying that it is Ford Foundation that has been funding one trillion. They have funded the protest. Kenya shillings one trillion. And yet he himself he has been seen with I don't know who saw the, the, the person who is in charge of the Ford Foundation. We've seen him in the photos. If you go to social media, you'll see that this guy has been with those guys. And so what this guy has also gone on top of his car is trying to fool people is trying to hoodwink people it is so unfortunate guys and uh, we hope we hope that uh, law is coming into effect we shall remove this government and help for a fresh elections i urge my kenyans please when we get a fresh election elect a competent leader competent leadership we do not need this kind of leaders who are killers, who are murderers, who are thieves, who do not care about the future of the country. Kindly, guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe because here we don't keep, we do not fear anything. We just speak everything the way it is. And we are here to give you more insights and the way things go. We are here to enlighten you and to analyze politics the way they are. Thank you, guys. And then see you in the next video.